A very good morning. My name is Alok Srivastava, and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So, it's it's the time to clean the car. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's actually the time to clean the doubts. And uh, I'm really sorry to say that Eva Mendes is not coming up to clear your doubts. You have to bear Alok Srivastava for clearing your doubts. So, apart from the car, the blue car and the Eva in the blue dress, somewhat blue desk, and she's trying to clean up the car. It's not my car and she's not my girl. Obviously, haha. <laughs> so, in this video, I'm going to show you a very, or I'm, I will try to explain you a very important thing that I found that most of the students are generally confused or they don't get the idea or the importance of the particular topic. The topic that I'm going to explain you is SSH port forwarding. Let me open a picture. I have a very beautiful picture here for here for you. The picture is much more technical than Eva Mand is there and the car. Okay, let's explain this. Let me explain this. What we are going to do. SSH local port forwarding. Suppose you have a web server here. Here it is, the blue color. And you don't have all these things here. So you you just have the company firewall there and you are accessing the web server from your machine your local machine so what happens normally whenever you open the browser here on your black uh, workstation and you enter the URL for the website or the web server if SSH port forwarding is not enabled consider that what happens whatever you transmit here over the internet and what the web server is responding you is coming in the plain text it can be your mail server or uh, web server in in this case you don't want that you want a secure communication between you and the web server and encrypted communication so we all know that ssh can be used to remotely log in on the servers securely the basic difference between the telnet and ssh is that that ssh makes sure that your connection is totally secure and totally encrypted and i hope you also remember that it also gives me command like scp and sftp which are again very secure commands and ssh always encrypt and secure your session so that nobody in between if i am doing ssh here forget the web server if i am doing a ssh on this machine so whatever communication I am doing here is totally encrypted. Nobody can use MITM or man in the middle, uh, your man in the middle attack. And nobody can try to read or manipulate what I am doing with the SSH session. So the beauty of the SSH session is that all your communication is encrypted. You are now your authentication via ssh can be used on your login name passwords or you can use the ssh keys that you know so i need not to explain that but the point is that what is ssh tunneling or what is ssh port forwarding okay let me explain this we're coming on to the ssh port forwarding once again i had just explained you a brief uh, advantages of using ssh the same SSH service can be used for port forwarding and the same SSH service can be used what you call it creating a SSH tunnel. Let me explain. You need to understand this picture very carefully because the command is very simple but you need to understand what is going on. Suppose you have a, a machine you are working at your home and you are connecting to your web server. Normally, you just open the browser, whatever browser you are using, you hit the URL and the site is available on your screen. It's fairly very simple. But the point is that the communication that you are doing via the browser is in plain text. You don't want that for any good reasons. You don't want that or you want to make sure that nobody over the internet should be able to read or modify or manipulate or do a MITM or a, like uh, your uh, eavesdropping on your communication. What to do? A very simple solution can be why not create a SSH tunnel or why not use local port forwarding. Okay, now what will happen for that? You should have either the 
SSH available on the web server which will not be in any case. So I had very clearly explained you here the picture is that your machine. You want secure communication from your machine to the web server over the internet. Using SSH tunnel or SSH port forwarding for total encrypted communication. Here is the internet, here is the company firewall and here is your web server. The web server obviously will not allow the, the SSH. Why should I allow SSH on web server? Only HTTP service should be available. But you, the employees want a secure communication. So what I can do, I can put up a simple server or a SSH server in between. Behind the company firewall, look it is the company firewall. So after on, on the right hand side of, of the company firewall, it's to, everything is secure. And on the left hand side of the company firewall, it's totally insecure as it is on over internet. So my main uh, fear is that I should be securing all the communication from here to here. Everything should be encrypted from here to here. Once the data, uh, it crosses the firewall, it's all safe. So what I do here, I create a local port forwarding. So the condition is that here you've got your workstation or your home, you're connected to internet, Some somewhere there is your company firewall, then you need to put or your company or you, if you are being a, a Linux admin, you need to put a SS server or we call it a shell server in between the web server and the firewall. So only SS service is enabled with the respective login name and the passwords and you had you, you need to make sure that this IP should be reachable from internet and then the web server is there with your respective websites and no SSH is allowed directly on the web server for obvious reasons. So as you can see there I've got three uh, I've got three machines one is will be acting as my workstation other will be acting as my web server and in between I've got a SSH server or a shell server. So on my web server I just need oh sorry on my workstation I just need to execute this command and check the if you see there I give SSH hyphen capital L 9191 it can be any free port on your local machine colon connect to the IP address of the web server here on the port number 80 using this SSH server. So if I show you here just a moment I have got this machine will be acting I will just show it to you the IP address sorry this machine will be acting as my web server look here the IP where is the IP here it is 28 28 will be my web server means the machine in the blue color here it is it is my web server and I have got one more machine for you just a moment I need to just minimize this uh oh what happened let me check sometimes your machine behaves in a manner that you don't expect okay just a moment friends just a moment where is my machine okay so this is my web server or I just I don't want I'm just pausing it here for a moment so that I'll not waste the time and 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 I will just try to figure out what happens I'm just give it a pause here so I got everything in order now here it is the IP address 192.168.0.28 is actually acting as my web server so I just start the HTTPD service and I'll just show you what I had written here where www I'm using the default document root I had just I have created a simple file index.html and I just mentioned there simple example of local SSH port forwarding that's great so this machine will be my 
द वेब सर्वर वन द ब्लू वन द ब्लू वन इज दिस वन माई वेब सर्वर नाउ देन आई हैव गॉट वन मोर मशीन विच विल बी एक्टिंग एज माई एस एस सर्वर हेयर इट इज इट्स अ रेल फाइव मशीन विच विल बी एक्टिंग एज माई वेब सर्वर आई जस्ट शो यू द एग्जाम आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ दिस आई पी एड्रेस इज फोर्टी नाइन एंड आई हैड इनेबल्ड एक्सप्लिसिटली दो इट इट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बट जस्ट टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड आई हैड जस्ट इनेबल्ड एस एस एच हेयर एंड ऑन द वेब सर्वर एक्सप्लिसिटली आई हैड डिनाइड द एस एस एच सर्विस सी हेयर एस एस एच टी ऑल सो नो बडी कैन एस एस एच ऑन माई वेब सर्वर बट यू आर अलाउड टू डू एस एस एच ऑन द एस एस सर्वर दिस इज द मशीन द रेल फाइव मशीन इज एक्चुअली द मशीन इन द ग्रीन माई एस एस सर्वर दैट्स ग्रेट एंड माई वर्क स्टेशन और माई लैपटॉप उबन टू मशीन विल बी एक्टिंग एज माई क्लाइंट सो आई हैट थ्री मशीन आलोक एट लिगेसी विल बी एक्टिंग एज माई क्लाइंट माई ब्लैक मशीन द एस 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 सर्वर विल बी एक्टिंग एज द रेल फाइव विल बी एक्टिंग एज योर एस एस सर्वर एंड रेल सिक्स इज माई वेब सर्वर दैट इज ग्रेट सो न वॉट एवर यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू डू ऑन योर वर्क स्टेशन एज यू कैन सी देयर it is a local port forwarding means everything need to be done on the client side nothing need to be done on the server or on the web server except that the web service should be running here and the ss should be allowed here is that clear that makes sense fine now i just need to execute this command ss hyphen capital l means local port please connect my 9191 the local port please connect my local port 9191 to this ip address 192.168.0.28 on the port number 80 port num this 28 is my web server and and use this machine via this machine 49 is my ssh server if if i show you now here i am if i just i don't have i if i just show you i give the netstat command netstat hyphen tulnp pipe grep 9191 so i don't have any process running or listening on 9191 port that's great now i give the command ssh i'm trying to create a local port 9191 hit my 192.168.0.28 which is the ip address of my rel6 server running the web server on port number 80 and please use 192.168.0.49 49 is my green machine the ss server and 28 is my web server so by this command i am i am saying ssh please tunnel my 9191 port which is on my local host to this to this ip address 28 on this port and use this machine to create the tunnel obviously i i will be asked for my login name and the password so make sure you should have a user named alok here on the ss server and you should be knowing the password so i give the password here now tunnel has been created now if you see there i am on rel5 server so i just to show you i open one more terminal here now it is my local machine as you can identify it with the color i can give the same command netstat hyphen tulnp pipe grep 9191 if you see there now the ssh is listening on this port 9191 so that means once you create the tunnel my 9191 is bound by our ssh process and the tcp connections to the 9191 port is magically connected automatically connected to the ssh server on the other side that is great that makes sense so now what next after you you had given the command here i had given the command here i'll just close this for you if you wish okay i'll just close this So I just given the same command now. If I open the browser on my machine, and I write here HTTP colon slash slash local host colon nine one nine one. So I'm hitting my local host on nine one nine one. And if you remember, my nine one nine one is connected magically to the web server. See there. 
had given local host 9191 and I'm getting the website from the server. Let me explain it to you once again. That's it. So just minimize this. Here it is. So what is happening when you are connecting to your local port 9191 so your machine your the SSH has already created a encrypted tunnel which is shown here by red line between you and the SS server. So all the communication over the red line is encrypted. So once your uh, request reaches to the SS server, it decrypts it once again and then it sends the request in plain text, re uh, remember in plain text to the web server. So the communication between the SS server and the web server will be in the plain text but once the communication reaches here or the web server responds you back as such again encrypted create a tunnel and send you back. So that is how the local port forwarding works. I hope you got the point. So it's fairly simple. I can show you a couple of more examples if, if you want to see it. I can use it in a verbose manner. Let me show you. I'll do one thing. Uh, I close the connection. I just give hyphen V verbose means also show me what you, you are doing. Look here. It is trying to do it. It's, it's doing everything via SSH. I give the password. That's great. And now if I open the browser here, I close this, I open it once again, I again write. So you need, I need not to like go to the or write the website URL. I just need to hit my local port 9191 and my local port is automatically being connected there. Look, listening on local port 9191 for 28 port number 80, connect. So Verbos will show you what it, it is doing in between or how the tunnel or the connections has been created. Look, authenticated to 49 on 22 port. And then it is forwarding everything to 28 on port number 80. So means I am connecting to 49 using SSH. I'll just explain it to you and just minimize this like this. Yeah. That makes sense. So I am connected to 49 on 22 port. I created the tunnel and then 49 or my SS server is automatically forwarding my request to the 28 on port number 80. And all this communication make sure and you should remember that the communication between you and the SS server is encrypted. After then it is in the plain text between the SS server and the web server. So I hope you understand the logic behind the SSH local port forwarding. It's a very beautiful thing and if you, you don't have any issues re, uh, related uh, to the thing that or uh, like a concern that all the communication between the SS server behind the, fire, uh, the firewall and the web server is in plain text, it's working for you. So over the internet you are totally secure. I hope you like the video, you are able to get the concept though it is slightly cryptic but once you just go through the video, might be a couple of times, you should be able to, un to understand that. Thank you once again, thank you very much, God bless, keep seeing the videos, keep, keep learning, keep giving me feedback, bye, take care, God bless and happy Eid. Thank you. Stop the video now.